All right, guys, this uh, Authentisign uh, training video is about filling out a seller's disclosure. You will receive an email from your realtor. Click on it, and then inside you'll see the pen that you can also click on. It'll ask you to verify that you're not a robot. Uh, if it's your first time going through the system, it'll ask you a series of questions that a robot will not know the answer to. And you can do this on your computer or on your cell phone a tablet. It'll bring up a dialog box asking you if you want to accept this signature, if you want to draw your own. I think it's hard to draw, so I usually just accept this one. Then, in order to get started, you just click on the start button, and then you go through and you start answering questions. Whoa, 2205 hasn't happened yet. Easy to edit. Anything that is red, you have to answer. Anything that is blue is optional. So just go through and answer the questions as uh, truthfully as possible. Uh, yes, no, or don't know are all acceptable answers. If you do have one that says yes, you will frequently see down at the bottom, if you answered yes to any of these, please explain. Let me just answer these real quick. And I'll go in and say yes. Small leak in roof repaired by a roofer November 2018. And you click the initial box. Again, you go through and answer everything that is mandatory, which is indicated by red. Those of you that are paying really close attention, you probably have noticed that I did miss one of the circles up above. But don't worry, we'll get back to that. Notice this box is optional. This says seller's update. So throughout the listing process, if something does happen to the home and you need to update this document with a repair or some kind of damage that was done, you can indicate it here. Sometimes you'll see this typed out intentionally left blank when it's blank. So, notice how now it sends me back to the top of the document. Why on earth did it do that? Well, the reason that it did that is that I did miss one of these boxes. So, I don't know the answer to that one. Now, you can see that there's a blue box here up at the right that says complete, which was gray before, which didn't exist. You just click on complete signing. And after about 30, 45 seconds, maybe all the way up to uh, a minute, minute and a half. There's going to be uh, an email sent out to yourself and to your agent indicating that the signing has taken place. So here you'll note, authentic sign signing action, and then it also sent the final revision since there's only one signature required. That's on the realtor side. And on the personal side, you'll see here, final revision. If you come into this email, you can click right here. And that'll ask you if you want to download and save that document. The document is now saved. And you have answered all the questions to the best of your ability has been initialed and signed. Thanks guys. Hopefully you found this informative. If so, click that thumbs up button.